Hey, this is a game that I found on uh, PECentral.com. I really, really enjoyed it with my second, third, fourth, and fifth graders. It's kind of a fun game when it comes to practicing their dribbling and shooting skills um, in class. You know, I modified it a little bit uh, to fit my students, but essentially <clears throat> each one of these, this is a hula hoop, this is a hula hoop, each one of these circles represents a hula hoop. Forgive me for my drawing skills. But uh, and then each one of these squares inside these hula hoop would be a playing card. Um, for instance, this would be the red cards, you know, like a diamond, um, a red diamond. This would be a spade and things like that. And each one of these stars are the students with their basketball. Now on the signal, on the signal, the student's job is to run and go to different cards and look underneath what card they got. So for instance, with my second grade students, I don't even worry about the numbers. Um, what we can do is if they draw a red card, then that means they have to uh, dribble the ball that they have to dribble the ball to a hula to a uh, hoop that I have really low with a red dot where they would go stand and shoot the basketball. Now if they would draw a black card, a spade for instance, then they would run to another basketball hoop that I have set up in the gym and stand on that black dot and try to uh, make one shot. Now the way I do it with the kids is that they get one attempt. One attempt to shoot and then they have to go back, find their card, put their, uh, find a new card and keep going. Now for my fourth and fifth graders, the way I do it with those kids is if they find a red card, a diamond, then they look at the number and then let's say it's a seven of diamonds, uh, then they would go to that red dot and, um, and see if they can within that time make seven shots, things of that nature. Um, that's just an idea. Or if you're, if you do, don't want to do that because it takes too long then again go back to what the I did with the second and third graders where they just go by color um, another thing if you don't want to do shooting another one what I do is if the student goes if the student goes to say here say the student goes to this card here okay he picks that up and it's you know obviously a, a red card which would be a diamond um, you can work on dribbling skills. So if they go to that and they find like a seven of diamonds, they have to dribble the ball in that hula hoop seven times. Like bounce, catch, bounce, catch. Okay, and that would be one way of alternating the activity and then they flip the card back over. Same goes for this kiddo here. Okay, do a different color. If this kid were to dribble their ball all the way to, uh, let's say this card here and it is a eight of spades so they would have to put their ball dribble their ball um that many times in the hula hoop eight times bounce catch bounce catch and then they keep going and it just and they keep working on their dribbling skills uh some other alternatives that i've done um with the kiddos is trying to practice dribbling with their alternate hand so um, another way of doing it is if this if this student goes to the this card maybe they draw a black card and black represents that they have to dribble the ball that many times uh, with their non-dominant hand so they could it could be a six and they have to try and dribble with six times with their non-dominant hand whereas maybe red red cards yeah, whereas maybe this oops wrong thing get that out of there whereas maybe the red card represents them dribbling with their dominant hand things like that so these are just some ideas these are just some ideas on how to um, some ideas on how to incorporate some dribbling skills in your gym and uh, when you're doing a basketball unit Again, I find this that works with my students. My students need to keep moving. Some of them work good with centers, but the majority, what I found with my kiddos, 
uh, we can only do center so much where we have to uh, practice the skill and then we have to do kind of some games like this to keep them all busy and engaged in class. But anyway, that's an int. That's it for this game idea. Hope you enjoy it.